Hey guys, what's going on today? My name is Grimjow and I'm back after the video. Sorry for the long awaited uh, absence on my channel. Um, University's been started to start it for me and uh, been pretty hectic around school. And um, I just wanted to do a really quick update for you guys. I did a Chaos Max with my Blaz deck and it was really shitty, to be honest. Um, I honestly I don't know how to read cards. Um, so uh, the last Blue Eyes deck profile you guys saw. We just go ahead and ignore that. Um, I'll give you guys a brand new updated profile right now, my Chaos Max build. And this one's a lot, lot better, a lot more polished. I actually have a lot of the cards that I need now. Um, I mean, I've put, probably put in a lot of money in this deck, and this deck is like my heart and soul now. Like, I just, I absolutely love this deck. Um, and uh, yeah, here you go. All right, let's start with the uh, monster lineup. So, um,. So first we are going, yeah, monster lineup. Let's first start off with the MVP of the deck. We play uh, Triple Chaos Max. This card is absolutely a game winner. This card wins the games. Um, and not many cards can get over this. Um, this, this, is a, this card in itself is a win condition. It's almost like a god card in itself. If Blue Eyes had a god card, this would be it. Uh, I mean, like, there's a lot of god of good stuff about this card. I don't really need to explain this card. In this build, we played triple of this. Um, it's also like a really spam deck, too. Um, next, we played triple of the vanilla, the blue eyes. Then, we play triple alternative. This one will be a blue eyes that did it run these three. You need to run this at three, and you need to definitely run this at three. These three are a must, okay? And since this is a ritual deck, obviously we play the triple uh, Manju. This card searches out your uh, advanced ritual, uh, chaos form, which out uh, max as well. Uh, the next we play the triple ancient stones of the ancients. Uh, this card, not many people actually have been seeing, not many people have been running this card in their deck. Um, Mainly, I don't know why. I just I've been having this running this at three, and I've been having no problem. Uh, it's really good. Like this is a, a very essential card in the blue eyes. Like you need to run this um, for sure. I don't know why people haven't been running it, but yeah, these are the three odds in my personal feel I feel comfortable with. Um, great amount of targets for trading. Um, you typically this is like let's see how one your hands like dead. You can definitely trade this in. Um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty standard. This, this, this is standard. Um, manage you need at three because it is a ritual deck. Um, yeah, there you go. That's the three ofs. Next, we run uh, two sages and two uh, spirit of the white. Here's I'm running two sages just because, like, um, I, I, I would technically run three, but I feel like three, uh, not that it's clogged, it's just, I never really uses card too often. There's a re one reason why I run um, two of these, and I'll show you in a bit. Uh, this is good for because it stretches out Baylor. Uh, you can target other things, and I'll show you in a bit here. I might as well just show you my one of. Oh, and this card is another good trade and target. You never want to draw into this. You just want to trade it in or um, use it for uh, Dragon's Mirror or just something else, you know, because this is normal monster as well. In the graveyard, uh, you can use it for a white stone to uh, get your opponents back or banished. So it's really decent, you know. It's a really decent card. Uh, not for the one of the combo plays. Uh, so one veiler, one main, and a white stone. This is just another card to constant target. This is why I'm running three of these and one of that. This is just to search out blue eyes, just in case. I mean, you can search out blue eyes with um, uh, with um, Melody the Awakening, but the reason why I'm running only the one maiden is just because like I could technically run three of these but um usually what I like to do is I like to normal summon maiden if I have this in my hand I'll use this to target her kick her effect off and let's say I don't have any more blue eyes in my hand or whatever <sighs> bless you if I don't have any more um um may there's like other cards in my in my in my deck like sorry if I don't have other blue eyes in my deck or if I do, target Maiden with this, this card that, she gets her effect, and this guy, and Sage gets off his effect, and I get to, yeah, I literally get two free blue eyes, one from my graveyard hand, and one from my deck for free, literally, two blue eyes, literally, 
Like Leafy says it. Yeah, Leafy Joe. Uh, anyways, two two one one one. Um, no more than one Valor. I think that's just too valuable. Uh, it's always good to search the Valor out. So yeah. All right. Next for the spell lineup, I run no traps in this deck. I wasn't even running one trap. Drowning Mirror Force, but I mean, um, nah. Okay, next, the Monster Reborn on Crack for Dragons. Um, triple Trade In, Standard. Uh, this is a must at three. You have to run set three. It's a really, really good card. Uh, yeah, Monster Reborn on Crack for Dragons. Next, we run the two Swords of Revealing Light. Two Advanced Ritual, two Melody Awakening Dragon, two Chaos Form, and two Card of Consonance. All right. For the amount of targets you have in this deck, for this card, I feel like two is a very comfortable ratio. Uh, two, two for this. I'm going to send cards to your graveyard to set the graveyard, please. This is just in case of like these cards are dead in your hand. I feel like the two, two ratio is really good. This just helps you set up for your. Um, uh, plays uh, two melody. I feel like that you search out blue eyes and nothing this deck with uh, with this card. Um, three might get a little clogged because there's like certain combo pieces I don't really want to get rid of. I was thinking of running twin twister in this deck, but I felt that I'm discarding. I'm already sending a lot of stuff to the graveyard, so I feel like two melody is a really good comfortable number. I might bump this up to three. How depending on how it works out, like I might cut maybe this down to. One and cut out white stone, but yeah, I'm like I'm already doing upstairs because I already have this. I'm already I like I have so much stuff like I already have maiden. I have uh, this. I have so many so many other things I could use to uh, summon blue eyes. It's a search out, uh, and I'm already dumping enough in the grave as it is. So I feel like two is a comfortable amount. And the two swords that we're gonna like, obviously it works in conjunction with uh, with this guy. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I need to go in detail about this sorcerer's concealing light. So yeah. Now for my last one offs, I'm running the one soul charge, dragon's mirror, silver's cry, and yeah. Uh, broken. No need explanation. I'll get into why I'm running this. This is a pretty essential. And this could actually win your games, like, but this is only good like mid game. Um, but I mean, even if you open a second turn with this, that's still pretty good depending on how much you set your graveyard. That's still pretty good for uh, mid, this is really good for mid game. And then Silver's Cry, you know, slap it down, boom, um, bring back whatever it is, uh, blue eyes or just whatever. Um, even the uh, silver, uh, white stone, sorry, the white spirit guy, banish your opponent's back row on your opponent's end base. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, next. Now for the extra deck. I'm not going to be doing a side deck because that's like all up to you. You can run all your Gamma Seals or whatever fuck you want to run. Um, that's completely up to you. This is just my main deck I run for like fun. I mean, this could even be brought to casuals. I mean, competitive casuals if you want. So, um, this is what I actually So I run one Matter. And you'll see why I'm running the Galaxy Engine. One Photon. The Double... Cypher Dragon, I cut out one card specifically to run two of these because this card is actually phenomenal. And then the one uh, uh, C Cast Room. This card is actually surprisingly really good. Not many people I've been seeing running this card. This card is surprisingly really fucking good. Uh, depending on the kind of action that your opponent runs. Um, but yeah, so here's where I'm running two of these. And because I could technically, I could run this as well if I want to. And I took out some of this, I took out this guy for this guy. But I mean, you could replace that card for this if you want. But anyways, the reason why I took this guy is just because it's like uh, his. It's not a good material to lay over. But the thing is with this guy, he his attack points get halved. Like it, it's all in good. But the thing is, this card has a built-in like one-on-one attack or effect where you can detach one. They'll steal a monster, right? And I, I don't think it targets. I don't think it targets. No, this does target, but it has like a built-in one-on-one effect where it sucks up your opponent's monster. Um, and what it does, it, it its name becomes Galaxy's Eye Cypher Dragon. And like you can 
overlay on top of that monster any of these you can actually even bump up this guy to two or like even matter to two uh completely up to you i probably preferably bump this up to two but you can literally slap another xyz material over him on that turn on like your opponent's monster used to suck most this is why i feel like two is a really this card is actually surprisingly really good um so yeah all right next for the look, synchros I run one Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, one Star Spark Dragon, a Plant Castle. Um, yeah, uh, this card, this card is actually just mainly good to bring back other your other synchros. Um, two Blue Eye Spirit Dragon, and then two Azure Eyes. Uh, mainly when you want to tag out this card, you go with this card or this card. This is mainly on your turn if you have like a pesky monster you can't really get over. Bounce back, and this, like I said, to bring back synchro material. Uh, this is what I mainly want to go into. So, as it builds a couple of numbers. People run one. Two is probably better just because you want to have like this as a backup because in, in, on your opponent's turn, you can bring back a blue eyes. So, yeah. I mean, on your main phase, you can bring back blue eyes. Now, for the last couple pieces, people are running, why the hell am I running? So, I'm running one blue eyes ultimate and then double Neo Galaxy blue eyes ultimate. The reason I'm running two is because you have a, uh, a um, Dragon's Mirror. Dragon's Mirror is really good mid, mid uh, game or sort of like early, maybe third, fourth turn. Uh, just because like you're doing a lot of dumping. A lot of the monsters are their names become blue eyes in the graveyard. So, alter alternative, the White Spirit Dragon. Um, what else? Just like you have so many good uh, Dragon's Mirror targets for this guy. And this guy, what you, what you would typically want to do first, the reason why I'm running Blue Eyes Ultimate as well, instead of like a, I could technically actually run a third one, but I'm just running this for like nostalgia purposes, just because it's awesome, I love this card. Um, the reason why I'm running it is just because like, what I can do is like, I'll, I'll banish this first, just to get that protective uh, effect by banishing this. If this is just, if whatever happens to this card, banish this, protect it, and then swing for again for another attack with the last ultimate. I mean, you could run another one of these, and then let's say if your opponent has another pest gas back, or you could, you know, uh, dump out another wise ultimate, uh, new wise ultimate dragon into the graveyard. And protect I'm just running this just for nostalgia purposes. You don't have to you just take this out and run another one of these. Like, you typically run three of these if you want. Um, up to you, though. I'm just running this for nostalgia purposes. But, anyways, guys, um, that was my blue eyes deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know maybe any um, uh, suggestions, car updates, and what I should do. Thanks, guys. Bye.